everybody, this is Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures and welcome to Tips and Tricks. I think this is video three, I think. Um, so yeah, I recently did an unboxing. I didn't post it. It was only a couple minutes long, maybe two minutes or so. Um, but so I thought instead of showing the unboxing where people could be scratching their heads and going, what? hello what's going on I thought I would do a tips and tricks on how to use what I unboxed and this is what it is it is a mesh ruler so let me get it came in a bag and I just wanted to go over what this is okay so first of all I'm gonna bring it up close to the camera it is a mesh ruler that for, if you can see there, for rounds or dots or circle drills, whatever you wanna call them. Um, and basically what it is is it's a template that you can put your rounds into to help you keep them straight. So ruler, hints, straight line, measuring, so on and so forth. They come in multiple sizes. Um, I had purchased one off of AliExpress a while ago, pulling it out, and I did not realize that they came in different sizes. And so this is the one that I had purchased whoop, a while ago. Sorry, it tarnished the, it's cheap metal, and so it tarnishes pretty easily. So yeah, so when I bought it, I paid attention to the size of the circles that I needed by millimeter, but I didn't pay attention to the length. And so I got this little cutie batuti, which for the size paintings I do, doesn't help me at all. Um, because I do, oh, maybe a three inch by three inch square. And this would make me in a confettied area have to continue to keep pulling out and putting back colors. So I have been looking for, I think this is a 31 centimeter ruler, okay? So when you do order, I'll put a link, two links down below. One is for AliExpress and one is for Amazon. The AliExpress one is one that Donnie, um, by Diamond Painting by Donnie, um, she sent me, so that'll be where I next purchase from, and then this one is from Amazon. So I will put both links down below for you if you choose to check them out. Um, you will see that most of the time the, this size ranges anywhere from $2.50 American to $3 or $4 if the store is trying to, you know, take you for a pretty penny. These will be, run you usually anywhere from $7 to $10 on AliExpress or this one I believe was $9.99 or $10.99 on Amazon. Um, the link that Donnie sent me, she said she found these for like 5 to $7, so I'm going to go check that out. Um, I haven't checked it out yet since I started this video. All right, so number one, ruler size is in centimeters as far as length. You'll see them show like 200. That means how many drills you place inside. Maybe there's a 500 or there's an 800. Um, I think this is the 800 one. They also have a new one that looks similar to this, but it's full length, of course. They match size, where one side is one size of round and the other is another size of a round so that you have one, both sizes of drills in the same tool. Um, I would try that out, except they only come in super short and I wanted long. Okay, so size number one is how long the ruler is. Size number two is how big the circles are in the ruler themselves. Most of the time you'll have a 140, 140, so 140, or you'll have a 141, or 141, 141. On this ruler, I thought it was very interesting. If you can see, let's see if I can get it to show in this lighting. Okay, so right up there, right 
up here. You can barely see it. Yeah, if I do the shine. So they have those little lines right there so that you can see um, supposedly what you need. I will say if you do Diamond Art Club, they are, um, oh, I don't want to get this wrong. I believe, I'm not even going to say because I'm going to get it wrong. Um, they are this ruler, this Amazon ruler. I want to say, let me look real quick, just a sec. I want to say they're 140s, but don't kill the messenger. Donnie knows a lot more. I'll put her link down below. Actually, instead of below, I'll put it right here in the eye. You can go check. Woo, there we go. You can go check her out. Um, so she does, she'll let you know. But this one I got from Amazon works on the Diamond Art Club ones. Um, but basically, you'll have two different sizes of rounds. And that's why you might need two different size rulers as far as what the actual size shape of circle there is. So I'm going to put this aside and then I'm going to show you how I use it. Okay. So this is the tower by Diamond Art Club. I have been doing a lot of really big ones. And so I wanted to do one small one. And in three days, this is how much I've gotten done. Super impressed. I've done the whole time with this ruler. I will not go back unless my ruler breaks to doing it without a ruler for rounds. So when you first start, sorry, I spilt my drills earlier and I'm still finding them, whoops, everywhere. So this ruler, when you first start, you will line up with, whoops, sorry to shake you, in the corner, okay? And you will line it up so you see the dots inside and the wide part of the ruler is on the outside. Then you just can see all the symbols and you put them in with your handy dandy drill pen. And then um, when you're done, what I do, okay, is at first, what's really great about this is you hear the clicking sound that you would normally hear with square drills. So it's really satisfying. You do have to be careful because if you have a canvas that has crappy drills, you really need to pay attention to your drills. Um, I like using the white tray to be able to look at the quality of my drills. So if I see any that have little boogers on the side, I have to be careful because this is so thin, guys, that if you press hard at all, you're gonna break it on yourself. And that's not the ruler's fault. Um, that's why I like using it for Diamond Art Club because Diamond Art Club has a really good um, quality control on boogers. Now you might have older versions of DACs, which stands for Diamond Art Club. Um, it's okay. They have gotten better and better at their drill. So if you do have an older version, you may have a couple boogers depending on their quality control. Um, but that's why they were on clearance. That's why they decided to discontinue those. Um, so hang in there and please have faith. They have gotten so much better. So that was my P. PSA alert. So when I'm putting the drills down, I don't, I've learned after doing this, you know, whole little area, not to press hard and just to do like I would normally do. And then what I do is take my handy dandy roller, okay, and I roll over it and you hear click, 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 click. Um, and that's just so satisfying. And then when I'm done, I will take this side. Now everybody can do it differently, but I will take this side and I will take my finger and I will just gently press down and make sure the drills are coming through, okay? And as I'm doing that, I'm moving my hand under here and just gently pressing the whole time. And it is slow, but think about how straight your drills are and taking 60 seconds to pull this off instead of ripping it off like a Band-Aid is amazing. Now, if you do have any drills that stick in this grid, that means they couldn't have fit through. So what I do then is I just turn on my light pad, okay? And that lets me see 
where this one drill that might have gotten stuck in here belongs and I can kind of punch it out and I can pick it up and stick it right there and then there's you know it's perfect all right so that's my little tip and trick now that's fine and dandy for this first strip but what happens when you're done with this first strip you have to do this whole section right well I'm so glad you asked guys you guys are so smart with the questions okay so I'm going to turn my light pad on so you might be able to see this a little easier and I'm going to bring you down closer okay so let's try to get you closer there we go all right, so here we are. Close, close, close. Okay, moving the plastic. All right, now instead of laying it like this, I'm going to flip it over, all right? And if you can notice, it's not a straight line right here at the bottom, okay? It, it's actually got little jet outs. At first, I was lining them up just on top of all the drills below, but I wasn't quite happy with up here because they were slowly like micro millimeters going off up here. So instead, I take that first circle row, this is my tip and trick, I put it over the dots I already have down, the drills I already have down. Now I don't major press it. I don't put it all the way back over the drills. I just kind of let it be there as a guide. Okay, and then I'm gonna move you. You can see over here, Woo! I have it lined up right here. I'd be on it like a weird gooseneck. Okay, and then over here, maybe over, it's right here. Okay, so it's it'll stick down, but you're not trying to push these little drills back through because you don't want to try to break this again. It's more just letting it sit there um, to be able to line itself up. All right, now, as you can see, whoops, when I bend my canvas, it doesn't work. Let's see, you can see there that they're lined up perfectly, right? So you're gonna stick your drills on that. And then, yeah, so let's stick a couple drills. I have my handy dandy 310s that are always here. All right, so we're gonna stick some drills. Sorry if I'm bumping you. All right, I'm gonna raise you a little bit so I don't keep bumping you. Whee. Problem is, is once I lower you, because it's a gooseneck, it wants to come back down unless I really... All right, so here we go. And we just put them in that hole, and like I said, I don't push them through. I just kind of lay them there. Sometimes you'll hear them pop through. And I go through and I put all my 310s in and then I go through and put all my other ones in. I think I'm on 3371, it's like a dark brown. Okay, so I'm gonna put them in. Just get this little section done here for you and then I will show you. And like I said, now once this is all complete is when I come back with this and I push it down, right? And then once this is all complete, I start pulling it up. We're good to go. All right. So now I'm going to show you and pull this up. Do, do, do. See, there you go. Now for this side, over here, so it doesn't go all the way across the canvas. I turn this around, and I'm gonna line it up. Now, I'm not so worried about this right here, okay? So I don't put it right up against 
I put this little bit right here up against this row. Now what that does is you won't be able to stick dots on there or drills or diamonds, but that's okay um, because your drills are already going to be so perfectly lined up that that little strip of six or seven is going to be fine. And then what I do is the next time I do this one long way and the other side of the canvas short way and that way I don't end up, oops, I just turned it off on myself. I don't end up with this random strip all the way up. And I'll have my light pad. You can see, look how straight that is, right? And this is the line on this side. Now I haven't done these three because they're the only three of this color. I wasn't gonna open my pack yet because I have a whole bunch up at the top, so I was gonna wait. So that's why those three are sticking out. But then you can see over here, you can't tell anywhere in here where the short side of it was. So look at those straight lines, guys. Those are amazing. And that is my tip and trick. Everyone keeps asking, how do you, what is a mesh ruler? How do you use it? That's what this is. So after I'm done uploading this, I am gonna go buy two more of these so that in case this one breaks because of how thin it is, I don't have to give up on using this ruler. So I hope this helped you understand mesh rulers. I hope with the size of the length and the size of the millimeter inside helped as well. A lot of people ask if this is for square. No, they don't have a square one because there is no room between any of the squares when they click together. You couldn't get a ruler for it. So until they come up with some crazy fun way to be able to do this for squares, they only offer it for round drills. So until next time, be blessed, have a great night, and thank you so much for your support. If you like this video and you want to see more of them, please hit the subscribe button down below. If you want to be notified, hit the bell. And if you just liked it in general, hit the thumbs up. So until next time, I love you all. Be blessed. Take care. Bye-bye.